So I think I lost a friend today. I don't know. She's acting very weird. Um, so I don't know if you guys remember a couple of months ago or videos ago. I told you guys about this gay couple at my job. But so there's this girl that I considered a, a, actually one of the few people that were actually really my not my friend, but I was cool with. And I have this thing with me making friends at work, and I'm really trying to work on that. I just entered my 30s, so I'm still kind of young, y'all. I'm still learning. My, I'm still learning life lessons. So I'm kind of at that age where I'm starting to see that you shouldn't do that. So I'm still growing, y'all. Don't bear with me. <laughs> just bear with me, cause I'm. Just, I am starting to see that you should not do this. But um, I thought we were real cool and everything. I swear I did. You know how some people in there, some females in there, some black females in there act very fake with me, except her. And I always thought it was, you know, something different with her. Maybe because she's gay, so she doesn't see me as a threat. But I don't, I thought that anyway. Um, for context, she's unambiguous. But she's very pretty, though, to me. She's not even ugly. She's, but she, she hasn't, she, she rocks a, um, a bald head, but it looks so cute on her. She's not an ugly girl at all, just for context. But for some reason, lately, it has been, the energy has shifted. And I noticed a shift in her relationship with her girlfriend. Because they're always together every single day. I mean, no matter where they are, they're together. I mean, they're that type of couple, right? They dress the same when they come in. Sometimes they have on the same colors. They're that type of couple. And lately, as of late, I've noticed distance in them. They haven't been hang they haven't been together. They haven't been coming to work together, which is odd. They haven't been dressing together, which is odd. And this happens right after I also noticed a shift in her girlfriend because a couple of weeks ago, her girlfriend was talking to me a lot. Mind you, before, like when I first started working at this job for like a, the longest time, this girl would not talk to me. And it was like specifically me, but she would always be looking at me. and. I noticed that too. I, I would actually even catch her red-handed looking at me, and she would try to look away. The stud girlfriend. She's a she's a stud. I think that's the proper term to call the me, the masculine female in a lesbian relationship. But she would get caught red-handed staring at me. And I, I I wouldn't pay no mind because I didn't want to because I was genuinely. I, at least I genuinely thought me and her girlfriend were cool and I didn't want to make things weird because I did see, I did peek her girlfriend kind of staring at me sometimes. But, you know, I just kind of just left it alone. But then she, the girlfriend, the stud girlfriend, I got to give them names so y'all don't get confused. So we're going to call the stud girlfriend... Uh, Tiffany, I don't know, Tiffany, I guess. So Tiffany, <laughs> Tiffany, like, like I just told y'all, she wasn't talking to me, but she would get caught staring. So, but then she would slowly start to say random things to me, random things that wouldn't make any sense, but it would just be random things, almost like I just need something to say, so I'm just gonna say something, type of things, like literally stuff that doesn't matter. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. Like, I would just respond with, oh, that's cool. Like, in my head, I'm like, why are you talking to me? You don't, we don't talk. But she'll just randomly say something out the blue just to kind of just talk to me. And I know that she'll do it more and more. And then I eventually got to a point where I thought me and her were going to be talking now. Like, you're not acting weird anymore. You're not acting like you're avoiding me. <laughs> Like, so that kind of happened. And I think she got a little too comfortable with that through Tiffany. Um, I think she got a little too comfortable with talking to me. And I'm saying this because 
within this time frame of Tiffany talking to me more and more, I'm gonna call her girlfriend, my friend, um, Stacy. This is when I would notice Stacy getting a little bit indifferent with me as far as her her uh, energy with me would be less and less. Let's just say me and Stacy would hug every time we saw each other. Like, oh girl, hey, cute outfit. And we would be talking like that. Like we would be like, oh, my period's on today. I'm still feeling terrible. Like we would be talking like that. But then, you know, when uh, Tiffany is engaging with me all of a sudden, I notice a shift in Stacy's attitude towards me. And I'm like, huh, what's going on here? And then I start to see their relationship, them not even being together like they used to be. Because they used to be together all the time, y'all. When I say all the time, I mean all the time. And then this around this time, when um, Tiffany starts hanging out with me more and more, is when I just felt her energy shifts and stuff. So I'm just kind of like, what's going on here? So this is going on for the next couple of weeks. And... Fast forward to today. Today, um, <laughs> I kind of, I'm, I'm under the con- under understanding, the final understanding that me and her, me and Stacy probably aren't cool anymore because she just completely doesn't even say hi anymore. She kind of just gives me the side eye and just keeps walking. And we'll be right, right past each other, just me and her, nobody else, and nothing. I'm like, okay, cool. I ain't do anything at all. And this got, and I ain't even going to lie, her girlfriend Tiffany was doing a little bit extra around the time she was talking to me. I don't know if she got the okay to talk to me around this time because it was kind of out the blue. It almost gave, Stacy gave you permission to talk to me because you wasn't comfortable talking to me before. So she, it, 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 it gives this. I, it does. I can't think of anything else. It gives, I give you permission to talk to her because it's okay. Because I'm not threatened by her. But all of a sudden, now I'm starting to feel like that may not have been the case because, you know what I'm saying? I, it's just weird, the energy, because now she's, Tiffany's back on her not talking to me and just me stuff. Like, and I don't know because they got in a fight about it. I kind of witnessed from afar that a fight might have been taking place. You can tell when a couple is kind of fighting. I don't know what it was about. I just know energy shifts when it comes to me. And that's the confusing part. I'm stopping my talking points because I just, I'm driving right now and I just drove past this white van in between two Hummer trucks. It looked very sketchy to me. I was like, hold up. Mind you, it's like four in the morning. I'm on my way home. I work uh, night shifts, so. And I just drove past that, I'm like, and I'm in Hollywood right now, so <laughs> it'd be weird stuff going on. I'm like, trafficking is big out here. So I'd be looking at, I'd be trying to look out for everything. So that was just really sus looking, but anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so. Back where I was talking about. So, yeah, I just, I don't know. It just, when she was talking to me, Tiffany, she was going the extra, she was doing too much because it was like everywhere I go, there she was. It was almost like she was following me. Almost like she got the green light to talk to me. So she just took the green light and ran with it. And that's literally what it gave. I can't even make this, I can't make this shit up. It was like she got permission to talk to me because everybody in that building treats me like I'm the prettiest girl in the building. And I'm not saying that to be cocky. I'm saying that because it's true. It's almost uncomfortably true because I, I'm i not the type of person that likes to, to be in the spotlight. I mean, it comes with the territory of being attractive. It really just does. And I, I know this, it's just me being an introvert and not really caring about the spotlight you know what I'm saying it's kind of too much attention sometimes it can get overwhelming especially for an introvert like myself 
especially for somebody who's a people person like myself who just wants to make friendships and just live life and not stress about no drama i'm not into drama or any of that if my name gets talked about on the internet i'm not even probably going to address it because i'm just not that type of person i'm it depends on what it is but i'm not gonna let anybody just talk about me any type of way <laughs> but you know what i'm saying i'm not the type of person that is into all of that drama so i'm just not so it is what it is. I don't know. I thought we and her were cool, but I guess, I guess you know. And I get it when you're when you're when you're in a relationship and your spouse is getting a little too comfortable with the pretty girl. I mean, so I can see it from an empath from an empath perspective. Definitely get it. But to treat me indifferent about it is the part. Because I don't treat people different because I'm feeling a type of way. You know what I'm saying? It just it just lets you me know. And when I'm in those situations that I have an insecurity an insecurity that I need to work on. That's all that means. It just means I have an insecurity and I need to figure it out. I'm not gonna be mad at the other person for that. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to dim my light to keep a friendship either. That's the other thing. It's not like this girl is ugly. And I told y'all that in the beginning. This girl is not ugly. She's not. But yeah, I still intimidate this girl. Her girlfriend is not doing anything with me, but we feel like something's going on because of the way she's responding to it you know what i'm saying it's very cringy and awkward for me because i i literally didn't do anything but i have, i just have to assume me and you aren't friends anymore it's like all right the one person in the building that i thought you know i was cool with that was a female that's not a man who's just trying to hit you know is now acting indifferent because her girlfriend was doing too much and I honestly felt like she was doing too much in this time frame when she started talking to me again like I said it gave the green light and you know what happens when niggas get the green light because she thinks she's a nigga so she acts like one and she did she did act like a nigga and almost like she couldn't control her following me thing because that was getting a little bit weird for me too. Everywhere I was, there she was. It was almost making me uncomfortable. I was like, your girlfriend's gonna think something's going on between us if you don't chill in my head. I was trying to say that because every chance that girl Tiffany could get to be around me, she would and just try and joke and talk with me and stuff. It was very uncomfortable. If she was a man, it would have been one of those situations like I would have been like, um, and you know me and your girlfriend are cool, right? You're getting a little too comfortable with me. And, um, you know, I'm the, we're not the opposite sex, but you're acting like the opposite sex. And I don't know how it works in the gay community with these type of things, but me being, all of us being women, but you're supposed to be the male in the relationship, right? I don't know if I'm just being stereotypical as hell right now, but I'm just trying to give y'all an example as well. The best way I know how. So, yeah, I don't know. I thought we had a cool, but I guess not. Like, the price you pay for being pretty and 